Alright, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to import files into from Logic into Ableton so you can um, work with your mixing or arrangements in whatever capacity you're looking to do that in. Um, so very simple, I first recommend to name the bars of your audio files wherever they're going to be at and you can just um, get to the beginning of the audio file and it's shown here in the marker here and then you can rename it um, I use key command T to get the text tool and then just say bar 4 or whatever and call your file whatever it's called and um, once you have all your files ready and you've named their bars you can simply just um, I like to keep things really neat and efficient so I always uh, control click and then you convert to new audio file and then it's in your audio bin so if you want to access your audio bin you can press um, B for, it's B on my computer um, if you want to find out what the key command for your audio bin is you press option K on a Mac and uh, yeah you just have to type audio show hide project audio and it'll tell you what the key command is over there and um, so I've got so the files here press B that's the audio file that I'm looking for show files in finder and uh, okay it comes up to that show pack right click show package contacts media audio files and the file is bar 12 is guitar loca and that's the file there okay so now I go into Ableton and I want to drag this file in now you can there's two ways you can either drag it straight into the arrangement into exactly bar 12 where you want it or you can drag it in as a clip so let's just start with the clip version first <coughs> so look at the audio file now sometimes it doesn't come to the exact BPM so these two need to match up so this is a the projects at 90 BPM and then even here it's at 90 BPM sometimes it doesn't match up if it doesn't match up um, sometimes you have to press warp twice so you can get to this position and then you just get it to 90 BPM there you go perfect okay um, and now you can't just drag this in and put this at bar 12 because it, it's not gonna sync up well so you need to get to this line here you see because at the beginning of this file I always like to put a bar of silence just before okay it's I, I don't know why but it seems to translate better for me whenever I do that so I just put a bar of silence and that's that bar of silence so we want to get this bar to be the beginning that's got to be the one point the start of the phrase so grab the marker here pull it out okay then you can come here and and Ableton just automatically recognizes it and I double click and I start a, a new warp marker I delete this warp marker if you've got any other warp markers in the audio file delete all of them and then take that and drag that to one position now if you put this on bar 12 it will be perfectly in sync with the rest of the track so I've got my audio file in there I've got all these audio files and then I press tab so so I'm gonna hold that press tab to go to the next screen and then I'm gonna go to bar 12 all right so let's let's okay I'm just gonna drag that to that and now I drag this to bar 12 and now that's gonna be synced up well okay so I've got all these audio files see that's a bar 1 bar 1 and uh, I've got the violin here at bar 71 bar 71 so you have all these things synced up now I have found that sometimes when you put this audio file in it doesn't translate perfectly and if you're struggling with that for some reason one workaround around that is actually to cut the audio file up into smaller bits so like this I've got the same guitar file but I cut it up into into smaller chunks so you know you just just do a cut here for example and then you convert to new audio file now before you convert to new audio file it's always good to to rename the audio file to whatever you want to call it right so you press T to get the text tool 
and then you click that and um, and uh, you rename it and then and then select convert to new audio file so I've done that process and I've got all these different different smaller chunks and when you get the smaller chunks in usually that can fix some um, any translation issues you might have so let, let's let's sh show you one example so I've got the bar 12 the the smaller chunked file okay so here now here's the, here's the second method you can drag it straight into the arrangement now first thing you have to do is check whether the translation is correct so first of all let's see that the warp is not at 90 BPM so I've got to run that up to 90 BPM okay and you see I've got to extend this so that now you can delete any extra warp markers that you have there you don't you just don't need them and uh, drag this out to the end so that's the end point you see where where this little line starts to loop that's the end point so just drag it up to drag it up to there and uh, the translation should should work all right so hope that helps you out with your transporting of logic files into Ableton feel free to subscribe or comment on this video if you have any um, techniques that may be might be better than the ones I've suggested in terms of importing audio files from logic into Ableton please do let me know I'll just share a bit of a of this new song that my band's writing. This is a mantra. Loka Samasta Sukino Bavantu. And what that means is may all beings be happy and free. And may everything I do, think, create, contribute add to the happiness and freedom of all beings. Thank you.